In this video, I want to talk about the pros and cons of using beautiful AI. Before we dive into the video, make sure you go check out PowerPoint Made Simple. If you want to improve your presentation and PowerPoint skills, this is one of the best channels on YouTube. I have been using Beautiful AI for I think around uh, three years now. It's one of my favorite presentation softwares. You see how there are templates on here on this. If you, when you are not logged in, there is a template section. As you can see, there are so many templates from the slide templates to the presenta presentation templates that are built out. So here we are looking at the list of slide templates and we have presentation templates. Now, why am I saying that this is a con? So as you can see, you can view all templates. I'm just gonna click into one of them so you can get a view of them. This is a creative portfolio template, right? Use this template. But here's the thing, when you are not signed in in Beautiful AI, you can access the templates very easily. So when you are logged in though, unfortunately, there is no template section where I can go to those templates that I've seen at the beginning when I'm not logged in. Even when I press create new presentation, it, it brings me to a screen where I, I can't find the templates. That's one of the biggest cons for me. Hey, I have a quick question for you. Do you want to know what's holding your speaking back? Take the speaker assessment below to find out. Pro to these slides that you see here. There are so many, uh, when you just click into them, it's very easy to maneuver around. As you can see, I put in my, this is my font and my colors already. Uh, so I can just create this template over and over again. So you have layouts on the bottom left. You can switch up the titles to the left or bring it up front or just take them all away completely. There are many ways you can, as you play around with this, you can add a footer box where the image is up there. You can add an image where they have all the stock photos already or you can add icons or, or recent images that you've uploaded yourself. So even with these slides itself, you can you can mix them around and add variations uh, a lot to it. So if you don't see something that you see in the variations here, you can what you can do is you can go to add item. You can also go to element and then add in almost any element that you want. You just have to drag that into here. Uh, and then you can add any one that you want. As you can see, I'm going around to a different element. So you can basically mix and match any way that you want. Uh, you can do this in bullet style, no bullets at all, numbered, single column, different columns. Again, the layout is super completely easy to use. I definitely prefer this over to PowerPoint because usually PowerPoint, they it, it takes a while just to think of what structure do you want. They have everything laid out already. As you can see, the most popular, here are structures, here are the basics. Here are the data in, in charts. So let me show you some of the ways that I've been making uh, different slides. And what I like about this and what I usually do in Beautiful AI is when I have created a, create a presentation or I'm making a presentation, I usually go to the action slide and I view all the different slides. And this is so easy to switch around. You can just switch around just like this. But I like to look at this view so I can just see what's out there. And I can just click into it and go to that slide. It's uh, I can go back and forth. I can duplicate. There's all these different buttons that you can play around with, and it's super, it's super easy to maneuver around. If I want to change certain colors, uh, you can also now I don't use PowerPoint, but you can export this to PowerPoint if you wanted to. They also have a desktop player that you can just download, so that if you are ever offline, you can just uh, still run this presentation from the desktop uh, player. As you can see, you can export the presentation into PDF, PowerPoint with slides as images, PowerPoint with edible slides. Very easy to do. So I, I've been using this for, yes, I think around three years now. And this is one of my favorites, uh, favorite presentation softwares to use. If you share this with other people, you can see the analytics to see how many views they have been. I usually don't share it with people. So again, here's what it looks like if you share it with people. So let me get the shareable link. So if you have, if you share it with people, the, the certain 
edits that you've made in your presentation will also be in here as well. Uh, so for example, if you click on once and then you click on another time, people have to manually see it all. As you can see, right? I'm clicking in one, two, three, four, or you can go into the slide where all of the slides are here, but again, you'll, you'll have to click individually. I think this is pretty cool. Uh, they make it easy for the audience to use as well, you can see you can share this deck, you can make it full screen. If you don't invest in yourself, why should others? If you are serious about your speaking growth, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm here to help you improve as a speaker. I would love for you to check out Beautiful AI and let me know what your thoughts on it. If you have cons or if there's something you don't like about it, I would just love to hear it. But what's one of your favorite presentation softwares that you have used? I would love to hear, drop it in the comments below.